In this video, we're going to cover potential signs and symptoms of bladder cancer, which is the 11th most common cancer in the UK, and it affects just over 10,000 people each year. By the end of this video, you should know what bladder cancer is, potential signs and symptoms, and when you should see your own doctor, and finally, some risk factors for potentially developing it. So before we get into the specifics around bladder cancer, let's just briefly explore what the bladder is as well as its function. So the bladder is a hollow organ which sits in the lower part of your tummy called the pelvis. Now the job of the bladder is to collect and store your wee. The bladder is like a balloon or a stretchy bag and it's made up of muscle tissue and as your bladder fills up with urine it stretches storing your urine before you then feel the urge to go to the toilet to empty your bladder. Now like any organ the bladder can be affected by cancer. Bladder cancer is when abnormal cells in the bladder lining start to grow and divide in an uncontrolled way. Now, without getting too technical, the bladder is made up of lots of different layers of muscle and tissue. And bladder cancer can be localized within the first few layers of the bladder tissue, or it can be more advanced and spread deeper into other parts of the body. So now we understand a little bit more about what the bladder is and how cancer can affect it, let's cover some of the potential signs and symptoms of bladder cancer. So the most common symptom of bladder cancer is blood in the urine, which doctors call hematuria. Now around 80%, so 80 out of 100 people with bladder cancer have some blood in the urine. Now there are two different things that are important to note here. The first is that you might visibly see the blood in your urine. If you do see blood in the urine, it typically looks bright red, but sometimes it might look dark brown or pink. Now, the second important point is that you actually might not be able to see blood in the urine with your own eyes. Sometimes the blood is there in such small amounts that you can't see it, but a urine dipstick test will be able to pick this up, and that's something that is very simple and easy for your doctor to do. Now, a couple of other important points to note are that the blood may not be there all the time. It can come and go, and the bleeding is not usually painful. But if you ever see blood in your urine, you should always go to see your doctor. So now we've covered the most common sign of bladder cancer, which is blood in the urine, let's discuss some other potential signs and symptoms. So other potential symptoms can include passing urine very often, which is medically known as increased frequency, passing urine very suddenly, which is known as urgency, or pain or a burning sensation when passing urine. And the medical term for this is dysuria. Now, these last three symptoms are much more likely to be caused by other conditions rather than cancer. So for example, if you're experiencing a burning sensation when you pee and your pee smells a bit funny, you most likely have a urine infection. And in men, the symptoms of needing to go to the toilet more frequently and at night time could be caused by an enlarged prostate gland. Nonetheless, it's best to see a doctor to get checked out if you do have any of these symptoms. Now, in addition to these symptoms, which might seem quite obviously related to the bladder, you may have other symptoms if the bladder cancer has spread to other parts of the body or it has become more advanced. Now, these include weight loss for no particular reason, pain in your back, lower tummy or bones, or feeling persistently tired and unwell. Now, it's really important to remember that all of these symptoms that we've discussed can be caused by other medical conditions. Many people with these symptoms don't have bladder cancer. However, for precautionary reasons, if you do have any of the symptoms, especially blood in the urine, it's very important to see a doctor. That's because if you've got another condition, so for example, an infection, it can usually be treated quickly with antibiotics. Plus, it's always best to check for cancer as early as possible so that it can be diagnosed whilst it's easier to treat. Finally, who does bladder cancer affect and what are some of the potential causes of bladder cancer? Well, bladder cancer is more common in older adults and with most new cases being diagnosed in people who are aged 60 years old or older. Bladder cancer is also more common in men than women, possibly because in the past, men were more likely to smoke and work in the manufacturing industry. Now, this leads us on to the final point of this video around some potential risk factors for developing bladder cancer. Now, most cases of bladder cancer appear to be caused by exposure to harmful substances, which lead to abnormal changes in the bladder cells over many years. Tobacco smoke is a common cause and it's estimated that more than one in three cases of bladder cancer are caused by smoking and finally contact with certain chemicals previously used in manufacturing are also known to cause bladder cancer. However, these substances have since been banned in the UK. 
Now, I've included lots of extra useful resources in the description box with links to trusted websites around things such as treatment for bladder cancer. And if you did find this video useful, please do consider sharing it with a family member or a friend and leaving a comment with any of your own experiences in the description box of this video to help others. Thanks once again for watching and until next time, bye.